hey guys hope you all are doing well so we got multiple comments for creating a video on best practices of blue prism so here is the video on blue prism best practices and i have also included some suggestions and tips while using the blue prism so this blue prism best practices will help you to build a highly configurable secure and reliable board for your business processes improving overall code quality ensuring that consistent exception handling standards are followed ensuring that the code is easy to maintain and is readable so let's start so first and very important point is always check for errors or validate when saving the process so whenever you are going to save the changes check the count of errors and also see the error message like this you should resolve all the errors before saving your changes in 7.01 you can see this validation error window when you will try to save your process here are some options to unpublish your process to validate the errors and return to process studio let's move to the next best practice which is the use of environment variables so you should use environment variable for all for storing all the data which can be changed in the future so that a process controller or someone who is running the process can change it from the system tab easily and it will not impact the code next one is passwords related best practices so password shouldn't be hard coded in the process or object some developers do this for quick testing but this is not a best practice password isn't written in plain text i have seen instances where the developer has written passwords in the description field of the credential tags to store to get it quickly you shouldn't do this So while creating the PDD of a process you should follow these best practices. main page template we posted a video on process template you can watch that video for details so a main page template should contains the high level of the process means it contains sub pages like startup close down populate queue and another work pages it is now easier to quickly understand what the process does just by looking at the main page pause the video and go through this template this will make your life simpler next one is master recovery if an exception bubble ups to our main page from a sub page we don't want the process to terminate so we use a master recovery on the main page and also we add a for better understanding check our video on process templates next one is exception stage for all exceptions provide appropriate exception type and detail so if an item is marked as exception you should assign a tag to that vacuum item 
and all the exception work items should be tagged as either system exception business exception or internal exception or validation exception you can assign that type as per your logics we should always use a stop decision in our main page especially so that we can request stop the process so we can stop the process on basis of three conditions first one is is stop requested second one is stop time and next one is stop after item next one is attach page so this is the template of attach page we should check whether the application is already attached or not so if it is not attached then we can use the attach action for all the other actions we should invoke this attach action in the other actions where ever required and we shouldn't publish the attach action next one is wait stage we should use wait stage at start of each action and we should always throw exception on timeout after start stage we can add a wait stage and we will wait for couple of seconds and in case of timeout we will throw an exception avoid using arbitrary waits and always wait for the screen to change it means don't wait for a particular time like 2 seconds 3 seconds instead of waiting for a couple of seconds or for few seconds you should wait for the screen timeout or the until the element is become visible so there are some best practices related to the object studio so we shouldn't call any published action in our another actions instead of calling a, an action in another action we should call it in the process itself and do not make business decisions in the object if you want to always do all the validations on the process end while creating an object always set the run mode of the object as per your requirements input and output stage so if you are going to use an startup parameter or you are going to provide any outputs in your process then you should provide descriptions to the inputs and outputs and also actions so that it will become easier to the other persons who are going to visit your process or in case anyone else is going to work on your process then it will become easy for them to understand the flow or to understand the working of the actions of the inputs and outputs also you can use the notes if required and these are some data item stage best practices
there are some spying practices there are some mandatory checks at the process level 